Good morning. What did Jesus send his disciples to do? Today we're looking at Mark chapter 6, verses 7 to 13. Let me read it to you. And he called the twelve to himself and began to send them out two by two and gave them power over unclean spirits. He commanded them to take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bag, no bread, no copper in their money belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. Also he said to them, In whatever place you enter a house, stay there till you depart from that place, and whoever will not receive you nor hear you, when you depart from there, shake off the dust under your feet as a testimony against them. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So they went out and preached that people should repent, and they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. So, an interesting segment here out of the experience of Jesus and the disciples. Well, Jesus called them. Jesus empowered them. Jesus gave them a mission. He commanded them. And they went, and they went, and they worked, and they worked for souls all around. Many were released from demon possession. Many were healed. It was a glorious time. I, I'm really wanting to talk to those people. I'm really looking forward to seeing the video or hearing from them what it was like in that heady time when the gospel was just just going out through the, through the countryside. Jesus' disciples experienced rejection, and they experienced reception. I mean, some people received them with open arms. Some people sent them away. Didn't want anything to do with it. Too busy, you know, too busy. But, of course, they weren't too busy. They were just too stuck. But in any case, God sends you and I out. Wherever we are, God put us there. Wherever we are living, God is... God, that's part of, we're part of God's invasion force, part of his army. And he wants us to do a work for him wherever he has placed us. He has a mission for us, and we're part of the team. So, you know, we need to be following out. So what if we don't get a good reception? You know what? There's no guarantee you're going to get a good reception. In fact, you're guaranteed to suffer as being a Christian. That's part of the plan. So you will not have a positive reception every which place you go. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. That's just the way it is. You will be treated with hostility and even perhaps violence. Pray for those people. Even when you say, well, oh, that's not what I want to pray for, you pray for them. God will send another servant, perhaps, that can actually reach their hearts. You just, you just pray for them, plant seed, carry right on. So what about it? Uh, what should we do? We should do the mission that God has for us. Look at how these guys went out and turned the world upside down. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we want to be part of your mission. Show us what to do. Show us how to do it. Help us to be active, be out there doing it, and uh, talking to people, visiting with people, finding a way to bring them spiritually to, to higher ground. That's what we want to do, Lord. We know that's the mission you've given us. Show us how. Equip us, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask for you to use us in this way. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, there you have it. That's, that's, that's the mission for today. Watch and see what God will do. And you have a wonderful day in the Lord Christ Jesus.